Brought to you by Excel, makers of inexpensive and high quality Windows and Android tablets. Great gadgets for less. Hey everybody, it's Lon Seiben and we are at the Silicon Dust Suite at the Westmark. I guess this used to be the, the Hilton. Yeah, the Westgate, it, it, oh, was, Westgate. it, was, it was the Hilton, it was the LVH, now it's the Westgate. So. And, and we're going to do a little piece later about how complicated it is to navigate around this show. This is an enormous show. So we are here because uh, I think a lot of the growth of the channel came from a video I did about the HD Home Run. Yes. Uh, Ted is the CEO of the company, and uh, they have done some retail branding changes and things to the product, but really the things that we've covered in the video are pretty much still very relevant to the current line. But we're gonna talk about maybe a few of the changes coming to the apps mm -hmm. that are uh, going to be on iOS soon and on Android and Windows and Linux. You're covering the whole basis. And then we'll talk a little bit more about uh, the company, why they started, and uh, how you can really control uh, what your cable company takes out of your pocket every month by uh, using some of these products. I think they're a very liberating thing to be able to exercise consumer choice uh, by making a little bit of an investment in uh, one of these really inexpensive boxes and a little bit of time, and you can really do some cool stuff. So, Ted, why don't we talk about maybe first the changes that we're going to see with some of the apps coming up? Definitely. So, you know, you're familiar with the fact that we do over the air. We do that globally. We have it in the DVB markets throughout Europe. We do it in Southeast Asia. We also do it here in the U.S. So you don't need to have a cable, um, a cable service to use the product the way we d demonstrated with the Windows Media Center or other compatible applications. Right? Exactly. We actually started out doing ATSC US, which is the over-the-air antenna, and it also did, at the time, the ClearQuam, the unencrypted cable in the U.S., until the cable providers started you know, blocking all the cable and, and encrypting everything. Uh, so we've been able to do that. We've expanded you know, through our entire line. Now we have dedicated over-the-air devices, two of them, and then we have a dedicated cable device in the U.S. and a dedicated cable device for the European market as well. So on the table here, the one on the far left, is the, uh, that's the European one. That's a four-tuner, unencrypted cable. So Germany alone has 25 million homes that are un have unencrypted cable. It's a great market for that product. Right. So it doesn't, we don't have access control for CI and CI Plus mm -hmm. because they don't have multi-tuner cam modules yet. Okay. That's still in red tape. Got it. So right now we do unencrypted. Unencrypted on that one. The one on the end is, of course, the uh, beloved HD Home Run Prime that takes the cable card from the cable company. I guess if people have never watched my video of the original product, really what you do is you take analog uh, <coughs> signals that are now digital signals, essentially, over analog, right? So the TV antenna and the cable. Yeah, we don't actually work with analog. Everything okay. we've done is all digital. Okay. So the, the digital switchover has happened for cable, for yep. over the air, all of that. So we're actually taking the live digital feed, the native MPEG-2 feed coming in from your cable provider. We are then passing that through, and with your subscription that you have with the cable provider, we put the cable card in there and allow you to be able to stream HBO and Showtime live in your home to our applications, to your TVs, and be able to stream it all the way to three different devices independently. It's a three-tuner device, so instead of being stuck at one location, you now can be on the TV in one room, the computer in the other, and a laptop or a, or a tablet in another room. When we first started, we were doing this all on the PCs only. In the last couple of years, we've expanded out to the whole connected home. And plus, these devices now, these tablets now, are capable of real-time MPEG to the uh, encryption, or not encryption, uh, uh, just, whatever. Just straight pass through. Yeah, yeah, right, yeah. yeah. So, so they, couldn't, they couldn't really do that before, and now we're able to do that on an iPad, on, a, on an Android device, and we can do some, some really neat stuff by watching TV in our homes. And even over the air, you can take that digital signal coming over the air and integrate it exactly the same way, right? Exactly, and you know the goal here is we want to be the live streaming piece in the home for any ecosystem. We work with several different boxes, which we'll get to in a moment, mm -hmm. but with our application here that you see on the, on the two Android tablets, right now because of trade shows and internet right. initiatives, yeah, internet we'll internet. have the offline viewing. This is still live TV from our devices here, but this is offline viewing with a text. So it tells you, even if you don't have internet, you can still watch TV throughout your home having your devices connected. If it was with a, an actual internet connection, then we'll show you this a little bit more on camera, you know, closer, but I'll show you here. Our tablet actually has actual program images for, through the electronic program guide that we use that allows you to be able to see what's on now and then textually what's on next. So it gives you a nice program guide. And so we'll get a shot of that later and show, show you know, the, the viewers what, what, sure. what we have there. And it's been a real transition here of the product, I think, because when it, when it first was introduced as the HD Home Run, just the, the basic one that was doing the unencrypted cable, um, the market was very different. Consumers weren't really doing this as much. I mean, techie consumers maybe right. were. Uh, but now we're in a situation where we want to watch TV on our, on, our, on our devices. We don't want to pay additional subscription fees to do so. Uh, this provides a path. What have the challenges been you know, adapting from a really 
hardcore techie audience to uh, maybe more of a general consumer audience? It, it's, the, it's the plug and play, it's the setup. And that's what, something we've been working on to make sure that in the past it was hook it up, work with Media Center, or if you're a Myth TV user, then you do all of the stuff that Linux has to do to right. get there. So if you knew your PC device, it worked well, but more on the technical side. Now that we've kind of gone you know, and expanded past the PC and in throughout the home for the connected home, now what you have is you have to make sure that you have applications, you have user experiences that the customer then can just have it, that device or that application find it for them, start playing TV for them straight away. And that's our goal. So as we continue to improve that, we get more and more customers that see this as an easy solution. The cord cutting process that customers are looking into is a two-fold process. One is that hardcore, I hate cable, I want to go away from it, and I either want over the top or I want to do something with an antenna because I, I heard about antennas from a long time ago. Right. <laughs> antennas still that. exist, and right. but what people don't know actually is antennas actually have the best HD that you can get. Right, so, cable companies compressing as much as they can, right? They're, and, they're yeah. trying to put so much through that pipe, but you, when you look at an HD 1080i, you know, prime time, you know, show, football game, whatever it is, it's beautiful. That's mm -hmm. what I do my recording on, by the way, in my home. Right. But, and I have both the cable and the over the air. So, but with, with the over the air pieces and all of these pieces, if you're in the home, you want to be able to just watch TV. That's what we let you do. And then you can start looking through the UI and doing other things later. And what's neat is that uh, what you've got here is kind of a universal solution. You're not, you're not, any, you're not dedicated to any platform. <coughs> so Myth TV works. Windows Media Center works. Um, mm -hmm. We were talking before we started shooting the Synology NAS drives have a way to connect. So you have a very open way of connecting in. Do you work with developers to help them uh, connect to your hardware? We certainly do. I mean, if you look over here, we have you know some popular devices such as the Fire TV mm -hmm. and even the Android TV Nexus device. Both of those, because we have applications in the Play Store and we work directly with their uh, with their developers. We're able to, you're able to go now into the Amazon store or the Play Store, download our application right onto those devices, and now render onto your TV. And that works with either the over-the-air or the cable products. So just quickly jumping back to the cord cutter, which is an important you know, customer for, for everyone right now, you're looking at, okay, I hate cable, I want to get rid of it, I want to go to over-the-air or over-the-top. So we offer that live TV broadcast, you know, all the ABC, NBC, CBS, Fox, and, every, and all those other ones, right over the air. If you're that customer that says, I still want my 550 channels, you know, and get everything that I want to get all in, a, in one price package right. for, the, for that you can buy the channels, but my hardware is killing me. I've got three boxes all throughout the house. Right, for me it was going to be $30 a month uh, to get everything, to get the functionality I have now, which I've, you know, it's not free, of course, you got to buy all the hardware on the right. outset, but uh, it didn't, you know, I, I, I did the math. It was easily less than a year uh, ROI on yeah. that, so. Yeah, so you can, you can actually use this, get rid of your boxes in the home, and have distribution points of three different rendering devices in the home that play that cable subscription. And with our application specifically, it has what's called DTCP IP, acronyms. Everybody right. hates those, right? <laughs> but what that means is the protected content, the copy flagged, the stuff that you can't stream on any other third-party device, like HBO and Showtime and some of the HD channels, you can do those on ours, and you can actually be in your backyard in your tablet and streaming your HBO there. Oh, so you got certified for that. We are certified, oh, and we great. have all those keys. So, so that's one of the, the claim to fame. The, un the only other one that I know that's off the shelf for a consumer right now is the PlayStation 3. So any of the old PlayStation 3 users, they actually have protection keys in there, and we work directly with Sony to have that happen through the DLNA source. Right, um, and that's for, forever you could do that on, on the, the PlayStation. Exactly. So, so now it's starting to make its way out. And so any tablet that you, you run, we, you, any Android tablet and iOS soon, I would assume, mm -hmm. uh, if we're running your app, HBO, on my tablet, exactly. in my house. Exactly, right. and you know, and we get a lot of questions because we have the Android app out there now, and there's a lot of iOS users. The iOS uh, application is in beta right now, it's in, fl in, a, in a test flight, and it will be launching soon. We don't have a date yet, but we're excited to, to have it in test flight and be, have some robust uh, testing on it. Yeah, so, I'm happy great. to test it for you whenever yeah. you're ready. Let there me you know. go. <laughs> it's been a really fun thing. Now there's been, you know, the cable <clears throat> industry is always trying to make sure that they maximize profit from their customers, and uh, there was a recent ruling about cable card, mm -hmm. uh, which some people might think might impact this. In fact, it, it hasn't, right? This is just... It's a confusing thing. Yeah. If you read through it, and the brief synopsis of it is that's for the cable providers. 
the cable providers didn't want to have to support cable card in their own devices. Okay. They wanted to do other things, whether right. it be an upload, uh, you know, protection content, whatever it may be. Nowhere in that, and we know that with it's all the third-party devices still must be supported. They'll still support cable card for us for, as we create it ongoing. They'll still support it for any other cable card product out there. That's you know, so TiVo needs it, and other, you know, TiVo's the biggest cable card provider. Um, you know, on a third-party device, we are gladly the second largest. You know, no I'm sure there's a gap in there somewhere. Right, that's okay. I'll, I'll take the gap. <laughs> you got room but, to grow. That's but I know officially we're the second largest cable uh, card device out there on a third on a third-party market. That's great. So, so. It, so it's starting to pick up some steam, and I think a lot of word of mouth is is driving things, and uh, that's where it goes. So this company is very focused. This is. This is all you do, right? This is what we do. We yeah. are a live streaming network attached TV tuner company. Mm -hmm. That's what we do and that's our focus. We, you know, when we were with just with the PC, you know, you had others that had PCI cards right. or USB sticks stuck at one location to right. watch TV. Yeah. Set top box, at the time you were stuck at one location to watch TV. So we, we created the network attached TV tuner with multi tuners inside to then pull it out of your PC, you're not in the kernel space, you're not taxing your, your PC, right. you're on the router or switch, and now you're distributed either wired or wirelessly out throughout your home. I think the wireless AC now with faster wireless speeds, because I often recommend Ethernet only for this, but I'm seeing that I have an AC router finally, I'm like, wow, this is actually working over Wi-Fi pretty reliably, so we're seeing yeah. some uh, improvements on the Wi-Fi side. Um, is it just consumer kind of products you do? Do you do industrial and commercial applications also? We have an entire uh, commercial line. So back in 2008 to nine, we started seeing a lot of people using in the field, Comcast technicians and, and head end technicians using our products, using TS Reader and you know, getting Constellation plot you know, checks and, and remote monitoring. We then you know, worked with a few different groups and we created our own firmware and our own solution to do commercial products for that, that area. That then evolved into multicast solutions for hospitality and MDUs, sports bars, you know, doctor's offices. We have an entire commercial line called our tech line. And you know, there's a lot of different companies that actually use, resell, rebrand our product. Um, we're coming out with a whole new line uh, later this year, about mid-year, that is a, you know, a, a revamped, retooled specifically for our customers and their requests. Mm. So we're going to have a 24-tuner cable card product that does multicast for hospitality. Hotels like this, that right. you go to a hotel and you've got terrible you know, uh, video signals and, and, and pictures and all of that. Right, convert to Ethernet and just... Exactly. Yeah. So now it's you know, that, the same thing over you know, to IP into all the rooms. You know, we have uh, bulk transcode streamers. We have uh, over the air for both, like a, a nine a nine tuner rack mount for um, for over the air for U.S. for you know European markets, all of that. So a whole bunch of commercial stuff going on. And can I get a twenty four tuner thing for my house? That'd be kind of fun. Yeah, it would be great. Like, yeah. every channel all the time, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's, uh, it's one of those things that is uh, the the firmware is totally different. If right. it went to a, a regular consumer's home, it would be uh, a bit more than they would want to deal with. Right. You know, because it's a lot of management of, of the right. UI that a hotel knows how to do. Or a right. location like that. Somebody so, that's, that's trained for that. Yeah. So now I'd love to talk when I have the CEOs of the companies. I'd love to talk about a little bit the the focus. Uh, we talk about the focus, but the uh, kind of what spawned the company. That the, mm -hmm. this is a very unique place. What need? Uh, we know the need that it filled, but what need was the founder looking <coughs> to fill when uh, these products were first designed? The main idea was about network technology. Mm -hmm. You know, our founder and CTO. He, would, he comes from a, a network stack. He, he knows about network chips and how that all works. He's done a lot of different dabbling in different areas, including network intrusion and, and detection and things like that. So as a TV viewer himself, he wanted to be able to, you know, that same problem I mentioned, you're stuck at one location, you're stuck at one location. You have more, usually more than one person in a home at any given time. Right. So you should have that freedom. The name Home Run by the way, our, it's a techie you know, term for running wire back to the. Right? Our, our founder is a Kiwi. He doesn't yeah. know. He didn't know about baseball per okay, se. Okay. Right. Yeah. So HD home run means more the run of the home. Right. Giving the video, you know, streaming throughout the the run of the home, originally on computers and now through all connected devices, smart devices throughout the home. And I'll, it so. is a home run for me. I'll tell you, it's uh, you know, it's it's rare that you have something that once you set it up doesn't need to be touched. I mean, this right. this thing's been. I've had this. This is over a year now. It's in my basement. 
uh, just cranks away, um, spouse approved. Yeah, yep, that's the best part right there. <laughs> you know, yeah, once you get yeah. the system down, um, I think it's just, just <clears throat> absolutely terrific. So what's next? I mean, we've got the tablet stuff going. We got the set top boxes, um, you know, more integration with other DVR platforms. Anything exciting that you can talk about yet or not the, yet? The, the, the first thing we did, of course, you know, and it's not the excitement part, but it yeah. is for us as far as from a consumer in the store when they go to look for it, is the new branding and packaging that we have. And we'll get a shot of that and yep. show the viewers what that is. Mm -hmm. We're doing new, uh, you know, point of sale displays you know, throughout the uh, the retail stores, it's an awareness situation for the customer. Right now, as I mentioned, we do over-the-air products, we do cable products. The next new thing coming, we just got the first boards back for our DVB-S S2 FreeSat free-to-air satellite oh, device. Really? So this is not the dish and direct that a lot of right. people that use, but what this is, is there is a one meter dish, 550 channels you know, that are on there, and they're all the ethnic channels from everyone's homeland, home countries oh, yep. that they want to watch. It's I mean, a huge market We're for such that. a melting pot here, yeah, right. and we want to be able to give the TV that people want to watch. There's a lot of companies out there that are actually you know, taking that and bringing down bits and pieces and putting it onto a set-top box and putting a UI and charging a monthly fee. But this stuff is free? This is, it's free sat. Okay. It's, it's free wow. to air, free satellite wow. stuff. Who pays for that? Just the networks that are broadcasting it just to get more viewership? They put it all out there because, okay. I mean, a, a lot of stuff from other countries, you know, they just want to get it out there. There's yeah. advertising on there, of right, course. Sure, right. So the advertisers are going to pay right, for all that, kind of all that service. Yeah. So, but there's so many people from so many different countries in our country, in the UK, in, 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 the, in throughout Europe. It's a, we're all melting pot these right. days. Yeah. So this is a global device that will work anywhere, but here for the United States, it'll be a revolutionary thing for us to get into that, that satellite space and give the, all those customers the, the programs that they love to watch. So, you know, whether they're, you know, the grandparents here watching the kids and taking care of it, and, and that's what they use to, to you know, connect, connect to back home. with home. Right. Yeah. Um, you know, whole families have moved over here and they miss some of their favorite shows and they want to watch them. They have to, you know, buy something on another service to be able to do that. Now that's all there for them. Right. So we want to be able to give the people that live TV that they, they, they know in their heart that they love and miss and want to be able to watch. Excellent. Well, thank you very much, Ted. You're for, welcome. Uh, we've been growing together at the channel and your yeah, career. Yeah, we truly <laughs> appreciate your blog. Yeah. And, and your you know video video podcast and all yeah. of that. I mean, we tell our customers about them. So thank you very much for what you do for us, and uh, we hope you enjoy it. I do. No, it's been like I said. This is this is a, there's few products again on the market that can really give a consumer choice. Mm -hmm. I, I, we have limited cable choices, but this really does because you can kind of take control of your monthly fees a little bit. You know, put your own equipment in there and, and just run with it. And you guys done an excellent job of making a product that's very focused, doesn't try to be more than anything what it is. And I'm excited to see uh, over time as as more consumers begin to ad adopt this technology to see where things go next. It'd be right. pretty, pretty exciting. So thanks for your time. Thanks very much. Thanks for coming by.